welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is a very one mark score to this side so as promised we are starting to do the uh, some of the linked list practice questions so we are going to see the lead code 817 problem which is linked list components what does the problem say the problem is actually very straightforward you have been given a linked list as you can see ahead 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 it has been given that the linked list contains distinct integers that is unique integers right okay now you have been given an array nums you have been given an array nums which contains some integers and these integers are a subset subset of the values present in the of the values present in the linked list present in the linked list right now you have to determine the number of connected components in the linked list number of connected components what does that mean so you can see the nums contain 0 5 2 4 if I mark them up, you can see where does they arise. So 0 is here, 5 is here, 2 is here, and 4 is here. Now, if I try to merge the adjacent ones, which are already in the nums, how many can I merge? So this is all alone. This is all alone. But these two can be merged because they are adjacent and both of them are present in the nums. So if I count, try to count them now, it will be 1 for these, 2, and 3 for this both. So I can say my answer will be 3. So I hope the problem statement is clear to you. You have to tell me the connected components in the linked list based on this array. Based on this array. How, how will you approach it? How will you approach it? So the problem is actually very simple. Problem is actually very simple. And you just have to do the traversal. Whenever I say the linked list, whenever I say the linked list, you mean you have to do the traversal. 99% problems are based on the traversal only, right? So traversal, what do we make? We make a temporary pointer. So let us point our temp here. Let us say the temporary is lying here right now. Now, how will I approach it? How will I approach it? My approach is actually very simple. My approach says that what do you do? You just say that whenever you encounter a node, let me write it down. Whenever you encounter a node, whenever you encounter a node, encounter a node in the array, you encounter a node in the array. That means a connected component is arising a connected component is arising connected component is arising is arising so what do you do for the whole connected component do only single traversal what do i mean by that that is temp my temp is lying at the head position right now i can see that temp temp's data that is zero is actually in my array that means a connected component is starting to begin. What do I do? I will start my traversal from the temp, right? I will go up till and unless I will go, I will go in the same traversal up till and unless my temp becomes null un until and unless my temp becomes null or I do not find a node that is in this array, right? Traverse until temp is not null. And the elements and the elements are in the array are in the array as simple as that as simple as that what do I do I came at two, 0 I say it is a connected component let us say my answer is currently 0 I say that it is it is a connected component start the traversal start the traversal so 0 moving a temp temp will come somewhat here but I see one is not the part of the array in that case what do you do you will say skip it I am not going to do any more so my connected traversal my connected traversal that is a traversal connected to this node finishes right off my temp comes on the second one I see again a connected component first my answer was 1 at 0 then at 2 it become 2 right after that my temp comes 3 I say connected component of 2 has finished a connected component starting from 2 has finished I came at 4 I again increased it it become 3 temp comes here I see that it is still the connected component started at this node I came at temp, I say that connected component has finished. Okay. I came here, I say no, no more connected component because temp has already ended. So answer is 3. Answer is 3. What did I do? What did I do? Whenever I found a node which is present in the array, whenever I found a node which is present in the array, I did the traversal connected to that component, connected to that node. So actually my pseudocode looks something like this. You will start with your temp equals to head right now while your temp is not null the same traversal technique what do you do you first initialize count equals to zero count equals to zero 
if temp value is in the array if the temp value is in the array what will you do you will say first of all increase the count because I just found a count character now because I want to do a traversal connected to that component only I will use a inner loop that is while my temp is not null while temp and temp value is in the array temp value is in the array in that case what will you do you will say temp equals to temp next that is continue the traversal connected to the that, that node only that is what we were doing in the dry run also right connected to that only right this was for the if condition if temp value is in the array else it can be the case suppose here when my temp comes here the connected component has bacon off and the else case will go on because temp is at 3 and it is not in the array so what will I do in that case I will say else what will you do you will just say temp equals to temp next without increasing the count you can see without increasing the count because it is not contributing towards the connected component temp equals to temp next so I hope that was clear to you I hope that was clear to you now as usual if the interviewer asks you he will expect you to do the brute force first and then the optimize so what is the brute force here the algorithm is same what is the brute force and the optimized and the optimized right so now you can see in the pseudo code I mentioned temp value is in the array you can do here the distinction of brute force and the optimized so what can you do you can say for the brute force I will check traversing the array again and again check traversing the array again and again again and again which will give me the time complexity of for each temp I will have to traverse again and again suppose the link list is of length n and the nums is of length m that is for n nodes I will have to check n times so time complexity will be O of nm that is uh, complexity is uh, let, uh, in general uh, uh, square complexity is generally square but in the optimized version I will use a set data structure or a map data structure and that will give me a time complexity of O of n log m and log m so that is a optimized version I hope that you are clear with it okay so let us now move to the coding area of it so you can see the coding section in front of you before starting with the video I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and it really motivates me right so moving on what will you do first create a temp node let me zoom it in list node star temp starting from head and your count and int count as 0 int count as 0 these are the two things you want in the initialization also create a map so unordered map you can use a set as well there is no difference so for int i going from 0 up till nums dot size i plus plus what will you do you will just say mp of nums i equals to 1 that is just mark it that this number is present in the nums array now what will you do while your temp is not equal to null right if temp value if mp of temp value equals to equals to 1 if mp of temp value equals to equal to 1 that is the uh, present it is present in the nums it is present in the nums so connected component increases that is count plus plus and now while my temp is not null and mp of temp well equals to equals to 1 what will you do you will just say temp equals to temp next that is keep traversing until the connected component finishes or the link list finishes else if it is not a connected if it is not present in the array in that case temp equals to temp next that is move on to the next node and check if it is a connected component right at last after the for, uh, while loop return your count answer and that will be all let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine should not give any error it is working fine for the sample test cases let us try it for the submit as well please run fine it is running okay it is getting accepted so thank you for watching hope you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you have a nice day